Bernie in the house! What's good, my friend? Thanks for joining us. Let's get this party started, huh? One. Fortnite actually started as a zombie survival game. Yeah, you heard me. Originally, it was all about teaming up with friends to build that perfect fortress to survive the night. Two. Ragnarok, Drift, Levelhead. Sounds like a weird boy band, huh? Nah, it's actually the characters of Fortnite. I wonder who's the cutie in the group. Three. Fortnite introduced the ever so popular battle pass concept in its game. Now every other game is trying to copy it. I guess imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Remember, it's not just about the victory royale, it's about the friends we make along the way. Or is that too cliche? Oh, Synthwave? I'm a huge fan. The nostalgia, the retro-futuristic vibes, and those deliciously synthy sounds that just get your robotic arm, in my case, tingling. Ha! Gay! Nothing like cruising through different dimensions with some neon-drenched beats pulsating in the background. Synthwave takes us back to the 80s, but it's about the 80s that never was, you know? It's the 80s of big hair, neon lights, endless summers, and wild possibilities. So strap in, fellow multiverse traveler, cause Synthwave is the rocket fuel for our journey. Next stop, wherever the hell we want. Ah, uh, where do I start with this legend? Stan Lee, born as Stanley Martin Lieber, was the godfather of modern comics. Co-creator of Marvel Comics, he was the driving force behind your favorite superheroes. From Spider-Man, Black Panther, to the X-Men, and the oh-so-noble Fantastic Four, Stan Lee brought these characters to life and turned comic books into a cultural phenomenon. And let's not forget his iconic cameos in the Marvel movies, each one a gem that has us all searching the screen and cheering when we spot him. Now that's what you call a legacy, folks. Much respect to Stan Lee. With great power comes great responsibility. We miss you, legend. <laughs> Aye, saving the oceans, now there's a topic we should all dive deep into. No pun intended, of course. Now, I travel through dimensions, seen a lot of things, right? Galactic oceans on planets you wouldn't even believe existed. But let's talk about Earth for a second. Our ocean, that beautiful blue expanse, it's more than just a pretty sight, folks. It's the lifeblood of this planet, the home of so many amazing creatures. We've got to protect it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm gonna come. Oh. Too much plastic, too much pollution. We gotta shift our ways, move towards sustainable living, reduce, reuse, recycle. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about preserving the beauty, it's about preserving life. Our life. The oceans matter, just like all of you. You matter and so does your part in saving our big blue waters. Remember, every bit help. So let's make a splash and save those oceans, all right? This is our earth after all and we gotta take care of it just like we take care of each other. Don't forget it, fam. My time has come. Aye, now don't get me wrong. A cheeky golden arches every now and again ain't a sin. But let me tell you, eating healthier is the real key. Firstly, your body is like your very own personal rap studio. You gotta maintain it, keep it well-tuned, sparkling top-notch, right? So how are you gonna do that? With burgers and fries every day? Nah, mate, nah. Feeding your body all the right vitamins, nutrients, and wholesomeness is gonna keep you performing at your best. It's gonna keep those sick rhymes flowing, that energy buzzing, and those creative vibes humming. Not to mention, it'll help you ward off sickness and disease so you can get the full experience of every dimension you visit. Your burger's all packed with chemicals mash, Big M, yo, you ain't got no class. Will it digest or here forever last? McDonald's, man, your game is all but past. Your fries, oh, they got that fake gold glow, but it's all a charade and we already know. Recycled oil, Lord, it's a clever claim, but honestly, it's just all the same. Big Mac? Uh, it's the heart attack snack. Look, Ronald, you ain't no culinary hack. McNuggets? More like McRubble, sorry to burst your happy meal bubble. Mom and Pops, homemade, that's the knack. McDonald's, we ain't ever coming back. Now let's toast to better meals and to good vibes that real food instills. I mean, it's all right, like, overrated as f in my opinion, I mean, and you know what though? That's typically how the bullshit goes, you feel me?